Hey guys, Braden here with ATT. I don't have a lot of time, so if you want this full version of the Awesome Pottery Trap, you can just head to patreon.com slash Podcast. We need this support. The support helps the show tremendously. You've got two ways to support Patreon or Supercast, or you can just top up the beer coffers by scanning that code and sending us some beer money. Anyways, I hope you enjoy our Awesome Pottery Cap and think about supporting the show. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. And we're like, oh, they got some cool t-shirts and stuff, so I'm like, we're looking at t-shirts. And this guy... Who looks like, a, a, like he's a, a mercenary mercenary he's a fucking he's got the mercenary. Vest, he's packing he uh you know he's wearing the dark glasses and stuff he's mag sticker oh, on his truck too yeah <laughs> we're looking at the the t-shirts and he goes yeah that's the same one i'm wearing you know if you'd like i could take off my vest and show it to you and i went yeah that'd be great take off that vest give me a spin <laughs> <laughs> and he he just just dead-eyed. stone-faced, dead-eyed stared you. Put his hand on his hip. And he goes, what? What? And I what went, well, I'll, I'll take a shirt. I don't I'll, have, I'll, I'll just have it. I'll, I'll buy them take all. A shirt. Uh, <laughs> that one, please. Yeah. Throw in the bag. It's all good. And I was like, ooh. Uh, there's definitely some tension. I was like, do not make any that kind guy, of. Dude, that guy also yelled at me joke. after that. Well, he didn't yell. Like, I went up to there their, like a map with pins from around the world. And I was looking, and he's like, if you're going to take a pin, take it from California. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, they really don't like people from California around here, I guess. Too many people yeah. move there or something? Um, like, honestly, it was it was such a fun day at the range. I, I, I was like, well, this, this is the peak of the day. And then it got better because Uncle Slam took us for uh, to Texas know, brisket. Some more brisket. 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 Uh, at Black's, which is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, barbecues in Texas, um, straight up it's delicious. Roadhouse. We made the joke that while we were sitting there, there was just the four of us in there. We should and start. I, was like, I, I think we should start a bar fight in here just because. Just fight we each just... other, <laughs> throw each other over the table because it felt like we should. Um, we get up to the, we get up to the like whatever the the fucking meat line, and the girls like. I, I was intimidated because I didn't know what to order. So Zell ordered moist brisket. And uh, so I ordered the same. And then I think Zell, you were like, is this, oh, is this good? And she's like, best in Texas. And she looked at me. She went, boy, you're not going to know where the tongue ends and the brisket begins. <laughs> and I was Sounds like, I don't, kind of disturbing. I, don't I was like, I don't, <laughs> I, like I don't know if that's good. But I like the cut of your jib. I like it. Howdy, boys. I think we all I got, like it. I think we all just got a half pound of moist brisket. Moist yeah. brisket. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I just, I and four, getting, four like, shiner box. box. Four that. shiner box, a couple of moist briskets. Fucking delicious. So good. Um, Slam didn't finish as though. And you guys were just, I could see you. as like. Yeah, we ate the rest of it. You're going to finish that? Up through here. <laughs> Slam knew us. He, he could have finished. He could have finished the brisket. He's such a good guy. He was looking at us. He's like, I better leave a. I better, I better leave, leave a. Leave it for these quarter, boys. A quarter pound for these boys to. <laughs> to suck back. Uh, this stuff was it was so good. I love me some moist beer. Skin. I, no, that's a great style of restaurant. You know how much money you'd save not having any servers. Yeah. You walk in, you pick your side, you pick the second side, you pick your cut, you pick your drink, you pay, you sit down. They give you. I don't know why why they still use styrofoam, but they give you styrofoam plates and cups. They're big on styrofoam in Texas. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. weird. I haven't seen styrofoam in quite a while. And not recycling, apparently. No, <laughs> yeah, just oh, yeah. trash yeah. it. <laughs> you guys uh, got recycling? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Canadian. Yeah, right, California. Here. You from California? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, it was so, it was fucking phenomenal. Uh, the whole way home, though, like, Uncle Simon's driving us back, full of brisket. I was head bobbing the whole way back. I was like, oh, brisket, beer, long day after a long night. I was... Well, it's, it's those long, road. straight Ooh. Texas highways. Oh, buddy, um, what about the fucking Hot Wheels track? Oh, yeah, we got to mention this. So for some reason in Texas, from what we witnessed, oh, yeah. they build, they build like a normal overpass, so like you're with like, you know, your 18 feet of clearance for like the biggest of trucks. And then for some reason, they decide to build an overpass at 80 feet above that. Yeah, the biggest flyover. The biggest fucking overpass like... ever. Like, why? Why? No rails. In the middle of fucking nowhere. Middle of yeah, nowhere. It looks like a Hot Wheels track. Literally looks like a Hot Wheels <laughs> track. I was like, okay, okay, you have an 18 foot headroom here. There is no reason to have triple that at the next overpass. Why can't you do it the same? 
Slams was like, I don't know, just build it like that. Looks cool, I guess. <laughs> well, everything's bigger in Texas, man. Yeah. Uh, it does look cool. They Give them that. So, yeah, it was awesome. And, and we can't thank Uncle Slam enough. That was legend. such a... Fuck yeah, yeah, absolute legend. Uh, I'm not going to forget that anytime soon. Um, we're, so then we are... Uh, we regroup. And we decided yeah. we're going to a bar called Cidercade, which is it's like a, you pay a cover. It has like just a whole bunch of arcades, arcade, like old arcade games. And Except for it doesn't have Turtles in Time. Or, Simpson, or The Simpsons. But they had a lot. Yeah, they, they had a lot of games. Buck Hunter was fun and stuff. And this is where, you know, we met up uh, with some beauties. Uh, we met the meme king himself, Burmeester, for the first time. Um Dude, huge What's... fucking teddy bear, that guy. I, never, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting him to be so big. He's humongous. He's like 6'4". He's way bigger he's than a, me. Big yeah, boy. He's a big human. Right? I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was like, this... I was just... You know, when you finally see people and you're like, oh, you don't look like what I had pictured in my head. Well, uh, I've seen him before. We've seen him on a camera before, but I've never seen him in yeah. person. I, I, I've never I, seen him in person. I looked up. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Oh, shit. You're <laughs> towering. Uh Chris from Denver was there. Uh, we had Matt and Alex. Um, I think this was kind of an impromptu. Prom- this wasn't impromptu, planned. Just like, yeah, we're, just we're some, going here. If you want to come, was, uh, we'll be there. We got to witness some professional DDR. Yep, we did. Oh, dude, that guy was sweating <laughs> his bag him, off. His toupee yeah. was half hanging off his fucking head. He had <laughs> he just, adjusting it. He looked like the one of those river dancers going on that thing. Hey, he, was, he, was, he was holding on to the bar. Yeah. yeah. And just giving her with his feet. All gas, no brakes. Uh, the only thing with the cider, the cider place was the games were fun. Like it was fun playing video no games. No beer, but like uh, no beer. Just Not even cider. like a. Yeah, you get seltzer though. You get seltzer. Yeah, they were good. Seltzer. That's what we got. I only got one cider and a oh, bunch dude, of seltzers. Oh, dude, the fucking wings. Oh my god. Oh, they had like a smoked barbecue wing there, which was. Oh, and they were the size of your fist. Don't yeah. look. Don't look back at that bill after the conversion. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. really? <laughs> uh, Burmeester. Burmeester reminded me. He was like. Uh, there was an aircraft game there, the one that was like afterburner or whatever. Afterburner, you see <clears throat> oh, yeah. But like the joystick was broken, so you can't really control it. It's like a fully immersive screen one, oh. and just like the, your plane just starts going crazy. So it's like so the vertigo I, machine. I, yeah, I get out of there. I was like, oh my god! And then it's like literally every single person that would go in and be like, Andrew, be like, oh, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Zell be like, oh, I'm gonna go give it a whirl. Everyone's like, comes out. They're like, oh. I played for like go. two minutes. It's like, there's no way. This is insane. <clears throat> Yeah, Jason showed up again. Like it was a good time. We we just fucked around, played some, played some, uh, played some games and stuff. It was a good time. Again, a second night where we're like, we're we'll just take, gonna go play we'll, some video games. We'll take it easy. Shut her down. Low energy. Like we got still got three more nights. We still got three more nights. Three more nights. We're gonna call this an early night. Someone's like, you guys want to go to another bar? We're like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's an awesome place called Rainy Street where they turn yeah, all the houses right. into bars. Kind of like New Orleans, and I was like, I'm like oh, "Fuck it, that sounds sure. uh, sounds pretty good." <laughs> Get a couple Ubers. Uh, I think it was like me, Andrew, Jason. Was it just us four in that? And Burmeester one? was in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jason oh, I took. A, I t- got. I got a ride from. Um, oh, mind blank. The couple. Classic. Classic. The couple. The couple. Uh, Alex and, and Alex Matt. and Matt. Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex and, and Matt. Uh, yeah. The uh, first off, our driver was from Winnipeg. Uh, so we had some Canadian ties. He just started rocking whatever the fuck we wanted to. Max volume. We were just partying on the way to Rainy Street. That thing was shaking. Oh, yeah. We were fucking grooving hard. It was, uh, you know, top five Ubers I've ever been uh, in my life. I missed out. Pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, you missed out. Uh, we get to Rainy Street. Rainy Street's fucking dope. It's cool. Oh, I've never, like, never seen anything like that. To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.